Today, I am going to go to the grocery store so I can meal prep for the week. Um, I don't know what I'm eating this week, but y'all, yeah, I'm gonna insert it right here because I'm gonna figure it out on the way. So, I'm gonna insert it right here. And another thing, I y'all gonna have to excuse me. I've been under the weather. Like I feel like the devil really been trying to attack me this week. Like attack my mind. Like trying to give up on my dreams. And the Lord said no. So I'm praying for you guys. If you guys are going through something, or if you are trying to give up, or you're wanting to give up on something that you know God told you to start. Y'all gonna finish, okay? Finish the assignment. So I'm praying for you guys. Whoever is watching this video, the devil is busy, okay? But God is busier. Period. So I already have the broccoli and the green beans. So that is not a part of your meal plan. So that's marked off my list. So all I have to really do is go get the meat and then the carbs that I want to eat for the week. I still don't know the meat yet. But you guys obviously see it before I do, so. And, y'all, I'm going to go get Chipotle today. Period. Because, and I need it. Let's go. Pause. Do it the right way. Two hours later. Y'all knew I would not leave y'all. Come on. Come. Come with me. Yes. Come. 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 So we're going to go to Walmart. Walmart is cheaper. Um, and it's closer. It's literally one minute from me. Like, I could literally walk there. So, yeah, we're gonna go to Walmart. Y'all, this is my gym. I do not like LA Fitness. Actually, I do like LA Fitness. It's just super, super crowded a lot of times. And Walmart is literally right here. Literally one minute up the road from me. It's crazy. Okay, so it is absolutely no way possible that it's 36 degrees right now with the wind blowing. It's definitely giving 20, 19, maybe even 15 degrees, honey. I can't survive out in this weather, but I am about to go to Chipotle. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I get, y'all, because if you don't like Chipotle, I want you to get what I get. I'm telling you, I've changed at least three people's minds about Chipotle, and I've gotten them hooked since, Okay. So try this out. I promise. Tell them sis sent you. Here. Yes, sir. We're here. Okay, y'all. So this line is stupid long. So here's what I get from Chipotle. Can y'all 
like, back up? I already told y'all what to get. Okay, here are the ingredients right here, right there. Go get your own. Hey guys, welcome to the meal prep portion of this vlog. Now it is 12 o'clock in the morning. Sis don't have a lot of energy. Sis is tired. But we have an exciting meal prep line up and it's going to be delicious. So keep watching. So first, I'm cooking the wheat pasta, and I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to it. You guys know I don't like a lot of salt in my food, so I'm just going to add a sprinkle of salt. I've washed the chicken, so now I'm going to start cutting the chicken up in small little bite sizes. So now I'm going in with all the seasonings that I listed. Now I go heavy on the herb seasonings, like the Italian seasoning. You guys know that that is my favorite seasoning. Um, I go really light on the Lowry season salt because I don't like a lot of salt. Heavy, heavy on the Miss Dash seasoning, okay? And I probably put a little bit too much red pepper and yeah, cause it was like really, really spicy. So if you don't want it spicy, don't add a lot of red pepper. Now I'm getting ready to cook the chicken. I cook everything in olive oil. And while the chicken is cooking, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the spinach. I only use onion powder. I think a little bit of lari season salt as well as garlic powder. So as you guys know, you have to cook several batches of spinach because it cooks down to nothing. So this is about two handfuls. And then I like to add extra spinach in my pasta. I don't know why, extra fiber. <laughs> So when a chicken gets crispy like this is when I like to add the sauce and baby, when I tell you it was so good, it is so good. So now I'm putting everything on the plates. I got the spinach laid down, the pasta laid down. Now I'm going to be eating on some paper plates. Now for all y'all bougie people, I don't have time to be washing dishes. So we're eating on these paper plates. Do you hear me? Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add this chicken. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum. Okay, so let's get started with the next dish. So we about to start cooking our tilapia or baking our tilapia. So we're going to go ahead and put some aluminum foil down, okay? We're going to go ahead and start seasoning this fish after we spray the pan down. Now, for the seasons for the fish, I use the same seasons that I use for the chicken, except I use a lot more lemon pepper for the fish because I don't like no fishy, fishy fish, okay? So heavy on the lemon pepper. Heavy on the Italian seasoning too, cause that's my fave. For the green beans, I just season with some onion powder and some garlic powder. Maybe just a little bit of salt, just a little bit. So the fish pieces kept breaking, but that's okay because I got one good one for the shot. So it's okay. All right, you guys, that in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. Be blessed, y'all. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.